Stage versus Grade. In this video podcast, we will discuss important principles regarding the staging and grading of cancers. By the end of the presentation, you should understand the difference between stage and grade, the reasons for staging cancers, and the systems for staging cancers. Stage and grade are different ways of classifying cancers. They are not the same thing. Grade is a pathological diagnosis, a reflection of how abnormal the cells look under the microscope. In cancer, cells become deregulated and proliferate abnormally. This is called dysplasia. As dysplasia develops, the cancer cells lose features of their tissue of origin, become less and less differentiated, and are presumed to be of higher grade. When we stage cancers, we give an indication of the degree of spread. Understanding the degree of spread has advantages for us as oncologists and physicians because it allows us to guide the questions we ask, examine patients appropriately, order the right tests, and determine in part what their treatment will be. We stage cancers for several reasons. Number one, it gives healthcare providers a common language to describe the extent or severity of cancer. Number two, staging cancers helps to guide treatment. Number three, it allows us to estimate prognosis. Number four, it allows us to compare our results over time. And number five, it allows us to have clinical trial standardization. The types of tests used to determine stage depend on the type of cancer. Tests can include physical exams, imaging studies like CT scans or MRI scans, lab tests, and pathological or surgical reports. Stage is commonly done by the TNM staging system. This is not the only staging system, however, but is the most common. The T is the tumor stage, the N is the nodal status, and the M represents the metastasis. With respect to the T stage, as I said, T refers to the extent of the local and primary tumor growth. T0 means there's no primary tumor that can be assessed. TIS stands for carcinoma in situ. And T1, 2, 3, or 4 represent the size and extent of the primary local tumor. N refers to the presence or absence of malignancy in the regional lymph nodes. N0 means there's no nodal malignancy. With increasing N number, this would represent an increasing number of lymph nodes involved. M refers to the absence or presence of metastases. M0 means there is no presence of metastases. M1 and M2 may represent the type of metastases or location. You can see that this actually mirrors the mechanisms of cancer spread from the Cancer Spread podcast. Such that the tumor or T stage is a reflection of the direct extent. The nodal or N stage is a reflection of the lymphatic spread and the metastatic or M stage is a reflection of the hematogenous spread or metastases. Often, healthcare professionals combine this T and M staging into an overall Roman numeral stage, ranging from stage one to stage four. Stage one tumors tend to be early tumors with no nodes or metastases. They are generally curable. Stage four tumors tend to be uh, tumors presenting with metastases or advanced nodal stage, representing spread to other organs. They are usually incurable. Staging can be done both clinically and pathologically. Clinical staging uses the features of clinical exam or physical exam, as well as radiology and diagnostic imaging. Pathological staging assumes that the tumor has been removed and often the local lymph nodes are sampled in such a setting, and this is how we get to pathological staging. 
Obviously, this is different than grade, as we spoke of before, which actually refers to the cells and their degree of differentiation and dysplasia, as seen by a pathologist, usually microscopically. This concludes our discussion on the important principles regarding the staging and grading of cancers. For further information, you can refer to the Basic Oncology Principles module and our video podcast about the different modalities of treatment on learnoncology.ca. Thank you.